If it started to rain just as you went grocery shopping, would you then say that you going grocery shopping caused it to rain? No, because there are so many other factors that influence whether it rains or not. And while there may be a correlation between you going to the grocery store and it's starting to rain, that does not necessarily mean that you going grocery store shopping caused it to rain. Why is this important? Because of this concerning press release. I am a woman of childbearing age, and if I am pregnant and have a fever, I will take Tylenol, and here is why. The press release today that says Tylenol causes autism is blatant misinformation. In fact, there are studies that say the exact opposite. In 2024, a group from Sweden published a landmark study in which they showed that there was no association between Tylenol usage in mothers during pregnancy and rates of autism and ADHD in their children. Let's dive into that study a little further. This study looked at over 2 million children and Tylenol usage in their mothers during pregnancy from 1995 to 2019. And what's unique about the study is they do something called a sibling analysis to control for genetic and environmental confounders. And this is because siblings share 50% of their DNA and nearly 100% of their environment. So it leads to a greater ability to control for unknown factors that could influence whether somebody develops autism or not. And they want to answer this question, whether Tylenol usage in pregnancy causes autism. So they want to see if mom uses Tylenol for both kids, do both kids get autism? If mom doesn't use Tylenol for either of the kids, do neither of the kids get have autism? If mom uses Tylenol for one kid, does that kid get autism? And if mom doesn't use Tylenol for the other kid, does that other kid not get autism? But they did not notice these patterns happening any more than moms using Tylenol randomly and kids getting autism randomly. This press release with this misinformation concerns me because oftentimes when pregnant mothers develop fevers of any cause, the only option they really have that's safe is Tylenol. And not treating a fever in pregnancy can have really bad effects on the baby. So if you are pregnant and you have any concerns about Tylenol, please refer to the literature and talk to your OBGYN. Tylenol is safe to use in pregnancy with the clinically recommended dosages.